Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be seeing the frequency spectrum, which is there in the wireless technology. So uh, this is a brief or quick introduction regarding from your basics, which you already learned in your lower standards. So uh, let's begin with some of, uh, we have the few tables, we have some frequency distribution, frequency ranges, and some of the wireless standards, which operate within this frequency uh, range. Uh, so let's start with the very first few basics. So uh, we know the Hertz. Hertz was the name of a scientist. So Hertz is the SI unit for measuring uh, the intensity or the uh, frequency of the electromagnetic waves and Hertz represents the number of cycles per second. So for example, if uh, you have 15 cycles per second, then uh, you can say that the frequency is uh, of 15 Hertz. Uh, then you have the frequency spectrum uh, which is this one so it categorizes the electromagnetic waves depending upon their frequency so various electromagnetic waves have different frequencies so uh, we have laid a frequency spectrum so that it becomes easier for us to understand where and how these electromagnetic waves are uh, being distributed. So uh, for example we have the high frequency radiations and uh, low frequency radiations and medium frequency radiation so uh, care has to be given for high frequency radiations uh, which having frequency of greater than 3 into 10 raised to 19 hertz so that's very big and these are called as the gamma radiations and so it's very harmful for human beings and so you have to take special care or precautions uh, if you are exposed to these kind of radiations so uh, we have got this uh, table so it lists some of the frequency spectrum and the operating frequency ranges uh, mentioned in Hertz. So let's see there are nine different entries for this. So we have the very first one that is we have the long wave radio. So long wave radio is uh, somewhat it operates within the range less than 3 into 10 raised to 7. Uh, then comes the short wave radio which operates within uh, 3 into 10 raised to 7 to 3 into 10 raised to 9. Then we have the microwaves, uh, the microwave ovens which we use at homes. So uh, that we have 3 into 10 raised to 9 to 3 into 10 raised to 11. So microwaves are all also used in uh, your mobile communication, the uh, base stations or the base transfer receiver stations from where you connect to different mobile phones are all uh, coming into this microwaves within this frequency range. Then you have the far infrared. So uh, it is from 3 into 10 raised to 11 to 3 into 10 raised to 13. Then we go far beyond, we have the thermal infrared. So that falls between 3 to 10 raised to 13 to 3 to 10 raised to 14. Then we have the visible spectrum uh, light that is the visible light which we can see. Like we have the photons uh, falling onto this object so that we can uh, see different objects. Uh, you can see me, you can see this board, whatever written on this, the color of this text and all. So that range where we can see that is from 4 into 10 raised to 14 to 7 into 10 raised to 14. Next we have the harmful radiations from the sun which are called as the ultraviolet radiations. So uh, that is from 7 into 10 raised to 14 to 1.5 into 10 raised to 15. So uh, that's why it's uh, the high frequency ranges and so you should be having or you should be wearing special kind of equipments if you are uh, exposed to these kind of radiations. Then we have the x-rays so uh, that ranges from 3 into 10 raised to 16 to 3 into 10 raised to 19. So you may be having different kind of x-ray from of your bone or head or skeleton or some other parts of the body for various examinations. So uh, in that place uh, you are exposed to this x-ray radiations where special kind of setups are there in order to scan your body. Uh, next we have the gamma rays. So gamma rays are extremely harmful uh, and so it ranges uh, or falls in the frequency range of 3 to 10 raised to 19. Uh, then with this frequency ranges, we have this frequency spectrum laid for wireless systems. So uh, it's somewhat like this. So uh, you have some kind of twisted pair for transferring. You have coaxial cables, you have optical transmission. So it all takes place within some starting uh, range uh, up till some ending range and beyond. So uh, we have this twisted pair. It starts from uh, 1 mm and it operates at the range of 300 hertz. Then a uh, few... Uh, ago uh, like a uh, few uh, distance ahead you have the 10 kilometers for 30 kilohertz then we have the 100 uh, meters for 3 megahertz and then when you reach to 1 meter that is 300 mega 
hertz you have the coaxial cable so twisted pair uh, only works within this or beyond this less than 1 mm and anything up to 1 mm we use the coaxial cable for data transmission then we go beyond we have the 10 mm so uh, that is for 30 gigahertz then we have the 100 micrometer for 3 terahertz then we have the 1 micrometer that is for 300 terahertz and up to which we have the optical transmission is possible uh, then we have various uh, VLF uh, uh, that is very low frequency, low frequency, medium frequency which operates within this range, high frequency, very high frequency, ultra high frequency, super high frequency and extremely high frequency up till this 10 mm. Then uh, ahead we have the infrared, then uh, the visible spectrum falls and then we have the ultraviolet rays. So uh, we have certain IEEE standards laid for this network access and so uh, we have a few of the IEEE standards that we have the 802.15 uh, which enables the network access within 10 meter we have the 802.11 ABG so ABG are the different bands that is for 100 meter then we have the 802.16 A or E bands uh, for 5 kilometer and then we have 802.20 for 15 kilometer range so uh, this is the table or this is IEEE standard where this uh, frequency bands operate or give the ne network access within these ranges. Next we have some kind of wireless technologies or these standards which operate uh, within this uh, range. So let's begin from the base we have the WPAN wireless personal area network uh, which operates within less than 10 meters and so uh, we have the 1 Mbps uh, 1 megabits per second and so we have these technologies that is we have 802.15.1 that is the bluetooth we have 802.15.3 that is the uwb we have the 802.15.4 that is the zigbee and then we have the, some proprietary uh, arrays or proprietary standards we have then moving uh, ahead we have the wlan that is the wireless local area network we have something operating within uh, 100 meters and the data transfer rate uh, varies from 11 to 54 Mbps and so we have the Wi-Fi systems that is 802.11 ABG and so you have the Wi-Fi is enabled with this uh, configuration like the Wi-Fi will operate within uh, 802 point something E or G or A so that's basically the bands that we'll discuss uh, in our future videos in this Next we move ahead we have the WMAN that is the wireless metropolitan area network which operates within less than 5 meter 5 kilometers and so the data transfer rate uh, is 70 Mbps and so we have the Y max that is Wi-Fi uh, max we have that is 802.16 A or E an advanced version of this Wi-Fi then uh, we move up uh, we have the uh, WW WAN so uh, it operates within less than 15 kilometers and uh, we have this 802.20 standard so all these protocols and all these technologies will be seen in this uh, uh, video of wireless technology so uh, that was all regarding a quick uh, introduction or a brief idea regarding the frequency spectrum in wireless media so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video